What's up, YouTube, and ho, 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 it is just past Christmas, and I am Domino, and welcome to episode two of our brand new Pokemon Platinum Severely Randomized Nuzlocke. In the last episode, episode number one, we scooped up our starter, which you all helped me choose, in a race that was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be, and made our way around to the first couple encounters to try and build up the start of our team. If you do want to check that out, which I would highly, highly recommend, Make sure you click the i card up at the top of the screen. In today's episode, we're going to be continuing on our first couple battles, trying to make it to Jubilife City. So if you're excited for this new adventure to get going more, go ahead and hit the like button down below and do subscribe to become a member of the Domination so you can keep along with us on our main adventure in the Sinnoh region, which again is Monday through Friday at 6 p.m. Central Time. So won't be quite the bombard that Ultra Moon, or, yeah, the Ultra Moon was. Let's go ahead and start off with a quick team recap, which again does have spoilers. If you don't want to see those, make sure you've clicked away. Uh, but let's check it out. First up, we're going to start with our starter. We have Manali, our level 7 Dark Rock type Rhydon that you all helped me choose. Our relaxed nature. Stats are pretty evenly, uh, so, uh, evenly distributed with magma armor to prevent getting frozen. We do have Headbutt, Ice Punch, Detect, and Swallow. Then our one member that we were able to catch in the last episode is Asuka, our level 7 Charizard, our favorite Pokemon, our flying water type Charizard at that. Bold nature with Technician, um, pretty decent stats all around. If he gets hit with a, th a lightning move, an electric move, he's gone. And we have Vacuum Wave, Hydro Pump, Poison Gas, and Growl. So that's where we're looking at for our team. We are going to lead Asuka today. Now, at the end of the last episode, you'll remember, you'll recall that <laughs> I couldn't save the game. And I won't be able to save the game, ever. I'm going to have to be save stating, which is fine. Uh, or, I mean, saving the game. I won't, I won't be able to turn off the... Anyway. I think we're ready to head off. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's head on. Oh, question of the day is going to be, since we just got started, I want to know who your favorite starter in the Sinnoh region is. So either um, Turtwig, Chimchar, or Piplup. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, these Pokemon. Playing through this game is going to be really good for me to get all these Pokemon back in my head because some of them are just super irrelevant. And I haven't played Platinum in a very long time. But let me know in the comments below what your favorite of those three starters are. Mine is easily Trico. I don't know if I've ever played this game without using Trico. Hey look, here's the Vulpix that wants to die. That just wants to die. Uh, but anyway, we're heading off. And last thing, if you want to see what all has been randomized, which again, it will have spoilers, but if you want to see what all has been randomized, you can go in the description below. It'll show you there's a uh, there's a paste bin with everything. Here goes our first trainer. Let's please not get blown away. Let's please not get blown away. I'm, I'm a bit concerned that we're going to get blown away. Um, just because... Okay. I think I understand why... It's like this. It doesn't affect, so you're a uh, ghost type. Well, hold this hydro pump. So remember, we replaced all of the trainer's Pokemon with... Uh, all the trainer's Pokemon were replaced with similar strength. So early game, this might be really easy. Late game, we might wind up regretting this decision. But again, if we get hit with a, an electric move, like, I don't care what kind of Pokemon we're fighting, we're going to disappear from the face of the planet. Uh, yeah, I think that's what it's going to wind up being. So that's interesting. Let me know what you think about that in the, in the comments. Uh, at this point, it's... I guess it's not too late to go back. Oh wow, you only have two moves. Oh, vacuum wave doesn't miss, right? Okay. Um, I suppose it's not too late to go back. When will I record the next platinum? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. 
I'm going to need to know pretty soon. So just let me know in the comments below if you think that's going to be an issue uh, as far as like early trainers. Because if we randomize it, I can just re-randomize it. Um, oh, wait. Then we... It's too late. You know what? This is what we're going with. We're going to rock out with it. It'll be fine. Their levels are still going to be just like almost what our levels are. We're just barely above this. I've only ran into Vulpix in this grass. I don't think I've ran into anything else. Oh. I let go of the, the speed up button. The speed up button in 4th gen games is very weird because it's like... I, I let go, like, a long time ago. Alright. Anyway, let, let's talk about the starters of Hoenn, as we're gonna... I'm gonna... Or, excuse me, Sinnoh. I'm gonna try and talk about the question of the day in every episode. If you've seen our series, you know how bad I am at that. I'm absolutely terrible at it. Um, but... Oh, hit me with Heat Wave, huh? Um... I said Trico, didn't I? What is up with me and Trico? So, I don't think I've ever played through this game using Piplo. I think that's what I meant to say. I don't think I've ever played through this game using Piplo, but I've played through this game using the others. Um, you know what? Today's gonna consist of... Today's gonna consist of, consist of some encounters as well. Okay, Happini. That's way too many. I really hope I don't have to, like, redo the randomizer yet again. That seems like a whole lot of experience just because we took out a Happini. I mean, I'm fine with it. That just means I won't do grinding montages. My goal is to stay on par with level. Which I, I understand that raising two Pokemon to level 7 is not staying on. <clears throat> Hi Domino! Are you catching Pokemon? Um, I think it'd feel a lot safer if you were to catch some more. You know, like when you need to travel to faraway places. Oh, I know! Don't you think it's better to know more about Pokemon? Sure it is! I know just the place! Come on, don't be shy! Follow me! Take us to the Pokemon Trainer School! Where we get an item. That man, what is he doing? Oh god, go away! You know what's wild? I think in... No. In the next episode of Ultra Moon, we might see this guy again. What? How? Did. You know. How did you unmask me? As a member of the International Police. Huh? What? I beg your pardon? I was just making conversation. Hey, you claim you're only making conversation. Do you? But I know better not to believe that. No. 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 You recognize right away that I was someone extraordinary. That is why you spoke to me. Is it not? Quite admirable. You are. Now that my cover has been blown, let me introduce myself. I am a globe-trotting elite of the International Police. My name, ah, oh, no. I shall inform you only of my code name. My code name, it is Looker. That is what they call me. It's deadly, it's a saying. Don't be a thief familiar to you. Yes, that is correct. Taking what belongs to others is wrong. Unfortunately, there are apparently those who do not heed these words. In Sinnoh, in fact, there are criminals stealing the Pokemon of others. I have, therefore, been on the lookout for characters arousing my suspicion. Incidentally, you are trainers, yes? Perhaps you can make use of this. Can I stop? Oops, I accidentally clicked through his text. Also, I have a request. If you were to see me again, I ask that you not talk to me. Or, I am on duty. 
Actually, yes. Yes, you may speak to me. You must. Not because I am lonely, no. No. You must inform me of bad guys. You must inform me of many happenings. Go away, shoo. Working for the international police must be hard. Jeez. Domino, here it is. It's the trainer school. The name says it all. I saw your friend Sam's going earlier. He can still be in there studying. Okay, bye now. Goodbye, Don. Do not come back. Do not pass go. Do not collect a million dollars. Who gives me items? You give me items. You give me items. You give me items. See, here's the thing. I want to try and not talk to absolutely everyone in the game. I don't want to talk to everyone in the game. Uh, oh. Okay, fine, sure. I don't want to talk to everyone in the game, but I do want to manage to get items. Uh, here. On the Dusk Ball. I'm pretty sure. Do we battle again? I'm going to get smacked up if we get battle again. If we battle again. Let me switch up. Oh, Manali is in front. Alright, let's battle. I just became friends with my Pokemon. I'm not sure if we do this, but can we battle? Let's battle. Let's battle. I'm going to smack you up. I'm going to smack up the guy next to you. And then I'm going to try not to get blown away in this rival battle. See, look at this. We're right on par. At least in this battle. We're right on par. Constrict. The way my audio is set up slash the way that my headset plays audio... It's really trippy. Oh, Jesus. I, sh I should be fine. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's why I didn't switch. Nice job. Why do you have a potion? This is the trainer school. What the heck? Why do you have a potion? Alright, we're looking good so far. We're looking oh my goodness. Okay. Now that that's been taken care of. That's a lot of experience. When you when you're randomizing and you click standardized EXP curves. What's that do? Uh, am I healed? Am I okay? I think Manali's okay. Now this guy's strong. If I remember right, maybe he has a higher level? I like the animations, like the subtle animations in this game. But I was talking about my, my headset. My headset's left side plays just fine, but my right side doesn't always play. You might have heard me talk about this in previous videos. But basically, I... Half the things that you're hearing, I can't hear. It's very, very off-putting. Okay. I just don't want to be growing levels too fast. I really hope I didn't mess up the randomizer here. Alright, I'm going to go heal because I'm afraid that we're going to have to battle. I really don't want to battle. Also, if you watch a lot of my videos and you notice me looking this way more, our setup got another upgrade, and I'm so happy about it. Anyway, that's a whole different story. Alright, Barry? Sams, come here. I thought his name was always Barry. I don't know. Hey, Domino, did you come here to study too? I went ahead and memorized everything that was up on the blackboard. After all, it's the trainer's job to avoid having their precious Pokemon hurt in battle, right? So, Domino, what brings you, huh? You got something for me. Oh, right. We're just delivering the parcel. So, what is this? Score! It's a town map! Huh? Why are there two? I don't need one. But actually, that's not a bad idea, because now I can... Never mind. Hmm. Well, according to the town map, I guess Orberg City is where I should be going next. There's a gym, so it'd be perfect for raising the Pokemon I just caught. Well, I'm on the road to becoming the greatest trainer of all time. See you around. No. I don't think you're gonna achieve that goal. You know, I always say you should aim high. Aim high, but... Ho, ho, ho! 
Hey guys, I'm a Pokemon trainer. Yeah, you have no Pokets. I know you see this thing on my wrist. It's called the 2017 Poketch. That is Pokemon Watch. See, they copying names out here. Oh, you my, you are a rare case indeed. You see, I invented and now manufacture Poketches. Not only that, I'm conducting the Poketch promotional campaign. This is actually called the Applech. Called the Applech. All you have to do is find three clowns in Jubilife City. If you can find them, I'll give you a Poketch. Actually, you know what? Well, here's one. He asked me a trivia question. <laughs> I feel like he just asked me something. He, he asked me a, a question I was supposed to answer, and I... Wait, why is Looker there? Oh, I'm my. Now, wait, you give me something, don't you? Wait, is it the is it a girl up here that gives me something? Did you buy some heel balls at the Pokemart? A heel ball completely blacka 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 blacka. Do you? Hold on, hold on, hold on. One of you gives me something. Ah, the Quick Claw. Okay. Who is our slowest member? Probably, I would imagine. It's definitely Manali. I have a power lens. I can go sell this power lens. I mean, what am I going to do with the power lens? I was just checking. Alright, here's person number two. Alright. I want to go back to talking about our question of the day uh, because I messed up badly when I was talking about it. Um, I have never played through this game using Piplup. I'm pretty sure I've. I'm pretty sure I've. Excuse me. Definitely played through the game using um, Chimchar. And Turtwig is my favorite. Um, Turtwig is my favorite starter Pokemon in this generation. Hold on, I'm gonna go ahead and run in here. Uh, 218 up ahead is a great fishing hole that's almost unknown to people. Yes, sir, an old rod is a good thing. You think so too, am I right? Yes. Yes, good answer. We can be friends. Here you go. This is my old rod. Any tips on how to use that? Nah. Now the question is, how many fishing encounters do I want to get right now? I could get three. Or I can save two of them for when I get to their routes respectively and just go back home to Twin Leaf and get that encounter. Let me first pick up my Poketch and then I'm gonna head over to uh, my head back home. Okay, let me count your coupons. I'll use the Poketch here. One, a two, a three. Bravo, I say, bravo! In return for these coupons, here's a Poketch for short. Look at that! Right above my head. Looking all nice. Touch the Poketch screen, you find apps that are right for you. Alright. Oh, I don't want that one. Let's just go with that. <laughs> you know what next level layouts would be for this game is if you just you oh man oh man can you see the ideas in my head right now all right let's run back let's get at least one more encounter before we uh before we call it an episode i'm i'm really thinking i could get a bunch of encounters. actually you know what i don't know that i have money to get a whole bunch of encounters let me go actually i probably do because i can sell this power bracer I'm just coming, or Power Lens. I really don't, I really don't need that. Bye, I have. All right, we'll see if I wind up regretting this. Let's go, let's run back. Let's see what we find. Um, Why did I never use Piplup in a game? Well, I think part of that has to do with the fact that I really... Dawn's Piplup was extremely annoying. I love Dawn. 
Dawn is a character I really enjoyed. Her Piplup was not the same king, was not that way. I hated Dawn's Piplup. And Empoleon to me is kind of boring. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. It is late at night, it is late at night. Probably the latest I've recorded. <clears throat> now, fishing takes like forever, but you'll never, you would never know that. A Fampy, nice. A level six Fampy at that. But I've never seen Vampy in this game, because I've never seen that sprite. That is an extremely cute sprite. Wenched? Freaking go. Quick Claw Pop? Let's freaking go, Manali! Let's freaking go! You have Calm Mind. Please be like a psychic type or something. Something cool like that. Go ahead and stay in the ball, Vampy. One. Ooh, just one. I was expecting it. Don't hurt yourself, Fampy. Aw, you can't just hurt. Don't hurt yourself like that. Yes! Let's go! Fampy is added! Hold on, where did my random name generator go? Here it is. I'll read this out in just a second. Let's get this pulled up, ready for it. All right. Did that. Okay, so we have Fampy, the psychic grass type. It is strong despite its compact size. It can easily pick up and carry an adult human on its back. Nice. I really like this sprite. And I really like this name to go with it. Um, so Fampy's name is going to be Jaquette. Jaquette the Fampy, who is new to the team. Welcome, Hardy Nature, that lowers. I feel like it lowers special attack. Powers up moves that have recoil damage. Look at this moveset. Interesting. Very interesting moveset. Um. Jacket, not bad, not bad, not a bad Pokemon. I do think that I want to hold off on, well, not necessarily on new encounters, but on fishing encounters. Let's save them. We already have three encounters. I'm not like, I'm not hurting for anything. I have a Rhydon and a Charizard, like, I have a Rhydon and a Charizard, so I think we're good on encounters. At least where it's optional. So, like, later on, I can come down here to Route 219, and I can go over to Route 218 that they were talking about in Jubilife City. Now, what I think we'll do to end off the episode will be an encounter. It will be our next encounter. Uh... I don't know why I put Jacket up front. It just seemed like a good idea at the time. Just in case a, a training opportunity came. So, here's what I think we're gonna do. I keep, if you notice me just standing still, it's because I, I think I'm pressing start, but start is not how you pull up the menu in this game. You pull up the menu by pressing Y. Um, I'm gonna come up here real fast. Okay, I'm in Route 204. I think all I'm gonna do is get ourselves an encounter here. It is a Hypno, a level three Hypno. Okay. Will you live ahead, bud? Okay. I can't hit it with another. I obviously can't hit it with another one. 
Oh! Actually, I wouldn't mind getting Leech Seeded. That wouldn't be horrible. Can't argue with that. Cannot argue with that. Uh, so, let's generate another. We have Hypno, the water fighting Pokemon. Seeing its swinging pendulums can reduce sleep in three seconds, even in someone who just woke up. Near water psychic type. We have Dagny the Hypno. Let's check Dagny out. Water fighting. Impish nature. Stats are okay. Solid rock. Powers down. Super effective moves. That's really good. With me first, Trick, Steel Wing, and Leech Seed. I think we have a logical decision to make here. I think I'm going to deposit Dagny for now. Like I was saying, I'm not hurting for encounter. Now, if I wind up blacking out, I'm going to regret this. But carrying around a Pokemon that won't evolve when I'm not really feeling it, when our team is already overpowered, Oh, that's right, I can't save. <laughs> I'm gonna have to remember to save state every single time I turn this game off. But anyway, that's gonna go ahead and do it for episode number two of our Platinum playthrough, our Platinum uh, randomized Nuzlocke that we're doing. Um, today, we made some progress. We went through the trainer school. That was kind of our main thing today, to was taken on that trainer school. We did get ourselves our Poketch, so you can see our team that way, and you can see our team that way. <laughs> Uh, which is very interesting. And then we also caught ourselves a Fampy and a Hypno. If you wound up enjoying today's episode, make sure you hit the like button down below. And make sure you also answer the question of the day, which was, who's your favorite starter in Sinnoh? Turtwig, Chimchar, or Piplup? My answer being Turtwig. And lastly, make sure to subscribe to become a member of the Domination so you can keep up with our adventure through uh, the Sinnoh region. In the next episode, we'll make our way towards Oraberg City, where I think we actually have a rival battle. I don't know, if Platinum's changed much from Diamond and Pearl, it's probably been 10 years since I've played this at minimum. But anyway, we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, I messed that up really badly. But whatever, we'll see you in the next episode. Until then, have a blessed day.